All right, today I'm going to install the Corsair HX1000 in my computer. This is an 80 plus platinum power supply, so this is the highest rated possible that you could get. So it'll be very efficient. And my computer is not going to be running a thousand watts or anything close to it. It's going to be even more efficient than that. So this has silent operation at low to moderate loads. What that's saying is that you plug it in, you turn it on, the fan might not spin. Some zip ties and some screws. Got a thick power cable and a bag full of cables. This is our 24 pin and just kind of plugs in the bottom here. And here. Okay. So this is our first SATA connector, so I'm going to use that to plug into my uh, solid state drive. And I'll just plug that in over here. And I've got another one. So if I flip my computer around, so I've got one, two, three hard drives right here. So this has uh, four connectors on it. I'll just start connecting these in. Okay, and then I'll fit that right through here. So that is my second SATA. All right, so all my hard drives got power. I've got my 24 pin ready to go, and I've got my CPU cable right here. Now the thing about these CPU cables is they never really make them long enough for uh, large cases like this. So what I always end up doing, I get an extension cable like this, and then I can plug this guy into that. And then I can run this down to my power supply. And let's go to the top of the motherboard right here. And just because of the, that extra reach, I'm just not even gonna try to do that with the regular cable. I just always use an extension for those things now. And while I'm here, I'll use this Molex connector. So this is going to supply power to some of my fans that I got on the case. So I'll plug this Molex connector in here. And the rest of these, I usually just zip tie these up to the back somewhere. Not the most elegant thing, but it gets the job done. So plug my CPU in there and my Molex, I'll plug in right there. All right, so I got my SATAs, I got my 24 pin, I got my CPU. The only thing I got left is my PCI Express for my video card. And it is nice that they got some zip ties in here so we can kind of clean this thing up after we get it all in. Right now I just need the mounting bolts. So I'm just gonna line this guy up. Just want to get all these screws started, and once they're all started, we can tighten them on. Okay, I got my 24 pin pushed out the back, and I'm just going to bring it right back through on the front. Sometimes it can be kind of tricky to get this thing spun around and stuffed in, but I'm just kind of, kind of bend it back. There we go, and it pushes right in. Okay, so I'm not missing anything here. So the last thing is my video card. So I got this cable that says PCI Express. There I go. Plug that in there. This case has a uh, cable management, so I'll stuff this through there. And I can plug this into the video card. So that is it. We are installed. Okay, so let's see if it worked. There we go, we got power. As you can kind of see, that fan is not even running. It doesn't need it, so it doesn't use it. Save even more power, pretty cool.